Holla Ballers! What's going on? It's Preacher! And I'm back! I've just returned from holiday. It's lol early in the morning. And I thought what better way to start off recording, as I haven't recorded a video in two weeks, than to do the Feral Druid! My favourite, <laughs> as many of you pointed out on Twitter. Yeah, my favourite. So yeah, I wasn't a big fan of the Feral Druid, but as many people pointed out as over my criticisms of how slow and uh, the downtime that was involved with the Feral Druid, especially in early game Walls of Draenor, is that that's the playstyle feature, and it's okay that you don't like it, but some of us do. Uh, you're, quite, you're quite right. You are quite right. I'm not a big fan of the downtime the Feral Druid had in Ward, uh, so I'm not going to labour that point. Some people quite enjoy it. I'm all right with that. That's a fair comment. That's a fair shout. I'm good with it. So I won't labour that issue. I will go into it if it still exists, which it might not. Uh, I am here. I am in the dream way. I have skipped the prologue as far as combat is concerned uh, so that we can actually do the first combat together. I think that's very important is that we see the combat for the first time for uh, all as a team and I can get my initial impressions with you from that perspective, yeah? That makes sense. My I'm all over my words. I haven't recorded anything in two weeks. I'll get there. Don't you worry about it. So, the Feral Druid. How is it looking? Interesting. I actually praised the Feral Druid's talent system in Walls of Draenor. It gave lots of choice in terms of how much you wanted to add into it, which is something they've taken and ran with in Legion, as you've seen throughout many, many, many of the specs, is they've gone, okay, people like the idea of being able to add in as much as they want, so we're going to go with that. So let's take a look. A lot of things still remain. You'll notice the lack of Berserk. That's gone. Uh, and very few spells here, but generally everything you need. You still have the Shred. You still have the Rake. You still have the rake, uh, the Rip. You still have the Maim. You still have the Ferocious Bite, the Swipe, the Thrash. All the classics that you'll enjoy from the Feral Druid are still here, as well as many of the abilities. Predatory Swiftness is still here. Primal Fury is still here. All these kind of abilities. When you're going to do a finisher, you're going to get a heal. When you crit, you're going to get extra combo points. Absolute balls to the wall. Basic Feral Druid setup, as it has been since fucking forever, uh, since Vanilla, essentially are all still remaining here so nothing much to talk about in terms of the talents a little sad to see berserk go uh, i liked the i liked berserk <laughs> i did like berserk it felt like you could go balls to the wall i always felt very strange that it was the slower spec uh considering you're a cat and cats that's attack your balls man cats rip your dick off uh but yeah that's the way it goes so let's look at the talent system then so interesting curious choices all the way through here so we have predator uh which is the cooldown tiger's fury will reset now tiger's fury is your cooldown now right so you don't have you don't have berserk what you have is tiger's fury uh which still does what it does it grants you some 60 energy and causes you to deal 50 percent additional damage while the actual buff is up so if we tiger's fury now you'll see we get this buff and we'll do 50 percent additional damage there very cool uh blood scent so oh sorry predator actually resets if a target dies while you've got your bleed on that makes a lot of sense for what we're about to do hopefully we'll switch these around if we don't like them blood scent then your melee abilities in cat form a 10 percent increased critical strike chance on targets with a bleed very cool long term so this is obviously great for leveling and stuff this is great for long-term sort of dps lunar inspiration now this might actually be the sleeper hit i don't know uh this was actually a surprising hit for the bears is to actually use moonfire and this is the same for the cat so moonfire generates a combo point it's gonna cost you 30 energy we'll see how that works out the energy cost is what bugs me about this uh whereas the the, the guardians don't have that issue they could just use it anywhere and i would like that maybe to be thrown in but only use generate a combo point every x amount of seconds you know that kind of twist on it instead of having the energy cost because then it makes it very similar to rake although it is an extra dot so we'll see renewal displace beast and wild charge still here i went with wild charge uh, i believe displace a beast if i take that uh still brings you out of prowl this has always been my big fucking like oh why uh with this ability so if i go into prowl yeah it still brings you out of prowl i fucking really detest that and i wish it didn't do that uh so i'm gonna take wild charge which push you behind the target leap, leap behind an enemy and daze every three seconds that makes more sense to me uh you can choose your affinity of course a staple now of the druids is you can pick some affinity i went with resto because you're getting your sarah's gift which heals you for three percent of your maximum health every five seconds you get swift mend if we need to burst heal while we're out there that could be very cool uh mighty bash the stun things we don't really want to knock away as a melee or mass entangle things that makes no sense so uh, these need changing right i mean typhoon is great for balance and for resto uh, i think those could have typhoon similar to how they've changed like we've got stampeding roar as the feral druid whereas the like uh resto druids get uh, innovate so could we not change these in some way so that knockbacks are limited to certain specs that could be kind of interesting because in general day-to-day -day feral play these aren't that good they're great for pvp of course but you know we've got a pvp talent treat now we can do it that way 
Uh, level 75, then we've got Solar Forest. Your finishing moves grant 6 energy with combo point. Kind of boring. I chose Incarnation, which uh, means that you do more damage with Shred and Rake, essentially. They act as if you're doing the damage from Stealth, uh, or from Prowl, I should say. Uh, so I'm more than fine with that. Get rid of all these abilities that I'm just stacking up on my bars here. There. Good. Uh, so, Incarnation, improved cat farm that allows you to use Prowl. Use the use of Prowl while in combat and causes Shred and Rake to deal damage as if Stealth were active, okay? Also reduces the cost, so it's kind of berserk, is what it is. Reduces the cost of all cat farm abilities by 50% and increases maximum energy by 50. So if you do miss berserk, like I do, I especially because we're about to come up against some kind of boss mod, is to have Incarnation there to back that up. Now again, Savage Roar still exists, but it's back in as a talent, uh, which is cool because some people like Savage Roar. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why. But as we've seen, Rep Palace have got Inquisition back. Uh, so for those guys who like these sort of maintained buffs, there you go. Savage Roar is in as a talent. So it'll all come down to which one's actually better. Uh, I can't I can't imagine why Incarnation wouldn't be in nearly all scenarios, honestly. Uh, but I'm sure the math will point to that. But Savage Rot is there should you like it. Uh, Sabretooth, your ferocious bite ability extends the duration of rip by two seconds per combo point spent. Does that mean... Because, of course, warriors are now the kings of execute, yeah? Now, the big thing with Eldruids was trying to find the moments where you could weave in uh, a ferocious bite without actually screwing up your rip and rake abilities so now what they've done is instead of saying look ferocious bite's not going to be like an execute based ability really what we're going to do is give you saber tooth which will allow you to do that constantly throughout the fight so if you just want to keep rip up i think this will basically give us an infinite rip but we'll see how that works out so we get jagged wounds your rip break and thrash abilities deal the same damage but faster I like that. As somebody who's looking for a bit of pace out of my Feral Druid and not seeing any sort of inc inclinations that the pace has been increased, I like the idea of Jagged Wounds. Uh, so we'll see how that plays out. Uh, also, because we're going to be doing low health mobs, this kind of makes sense, right? <laughs> Eludes Guidance then immediately gave five combo points and an additional one combo point every second for five seconds. This seems a little strange to me. Combo points have never really been a huge deal for Feral Druids. And this kind of puts me to that legendary that people keep going on about. The very, uh, the feral legendary, which gives you double energy. So it'll give you like 200 energy. Uh, this is an interesting comment we'll talk about later in the video. When I find us some downtime, I'll talk about that there. But I actually don't feel this is a, a very big deal. Uh, so bloody slash. I picked this up so we can see it. Now what I've noticed is this is supposed to replace swipe. So it strikes all nearby enemies in a flurry of bloody slashes, inflicting 50,000 physical damage to each and awards one combo point, but with a maximum of three charges. Okay. Now I'm not seeing charges and it's still says swipe i don't know if this is working but we're going to test it out because it might have a cool animation all right so a lot of the melee animations have been picked up hopefully we'll see some cool feral ones that would be nice uh so i picked this up but i'm not going to keep this so i'm going to pick it up so we can see it hopefully i will press swipe on something see what happens and uh, if it's crap we'll swap it so blood talents is still there so of course once you use your five combo points or combo points it proximates your swiftness you can use a healing touch which will deal 30 additional damage we know this if you played a feral druid before you know all about blood talents uh, moment of clarity Another 30 energy, and your Roman of Clarity affects the next three cat abilities. Uh, which, either of these could be very cool throughout our gameplay we're going to do today. But we're going to try Bloody Slash first, okay? So, those are the talent system. Pretty good. I like this. I think there's some good choices in here. There's some confusing ones. There's certainly some more scope for change, certainly in the CC abilities. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see how it plays out. We'll see whether we need to swap anything out as we play through. Okay? Maybe we'll need Renewal. Maybe. Who knows? So, we're about to get to some combat. We're in the Dream Wave. If you've not seen this before. Now, a lot of the under construction sides are gone uh this is the final feral druid artifact we need to get uh so very interested to see that this is kind of like the final look of it it's very nicely fleshed out i love the light shafts and stuff coming through the trees the dreamway is a beautiful place a really cool idea so off we go and there's our cat model uh, it's kind of seen there we know we're going to get some very cool cat models at the end of this so hopefully i haven't uh, no there he is i was hoping for remulos would still be around i'm just going to take in this environment a little bit these are still closed off. Obviously, we cleanse this later. Oh, look at this guy. I don't think I've ever seen him before. All right. But yeah, looking very nice. Rebulos, what's going on, dude? Cleanse. Oh, it just wants me to go straight to it. So we're going to... What actually happens here is he gets in and he's like, Oh, no, there's brambles and shit. Go round. So obviously, this is where the mobs are. So into Prowl we go. So no Savage Raw to look after or anything like that. So we're going to open up with a big shred for the extra damage. Or I should probably use that on Rake. Tiger's Raw to get a big meaty rip up. There's a... I've just realized I haven't put Mighty Bash on my bars. Lol, lol, lol at me. Ferocious Bite. Down you go. Cool. All good. And heal up with that. Let me put Mighty Bash. Did I take Mighty Bash? I did. Go there. 
So hopefully, oh, here we go. So maybe, so hopefully this will do the bloody thrash thing. I'm not really seeing it. Hmm. Interesting noise. Let's zoom in so we can see some of the special effects. I don't think that's working. Yeah, it doesn't appear to be doing anything, does it? No, that doesn't appear to be working. Which is a little shame, bloody slash. I was kind of hoping it would be like a flurry attack. Yeah, but we're not getting that. So let's go with... Let's do a moment of clarity for now for just ease of use. Back into Prowl. I love the music here. This music is very cool. I've got to use a preemptive Tiger's Fury there so we actually get a, a huge rip up. Nightmare Serum. We can interrupt that. Cool. Lashing Fury. Let's stun that. And Ferocious Bite. Oh, yeah. Rips. In fact, oh, wow. Rips running out really quick. That's that talent. That's cool. Yeah, Rips running out. I don't think we're going to get many Ferocious Bites in. Um, I wonder, actually, based on the health of these, whether it's worth taking that ability. We'll see. Get rakes on everything. Typical, typical Druid AoE. Keep the Tiger's Fury going, because that should reset, hopefully. Yep, Tiger's Fury is resetting. Excellent. Like, that is working, at least. Tiger's Fury is resetting. I'm very zoomed in for my liking here. <laughs> Big foot meet your rip on. Good, good, good. Yeah, still plays very much the same. So you can see the energy is still regenerating as it normally would. Which uh, comes down to what we've seen in the past, which is... Simply sort of waiting for energy to build up. This is why I don't think... I probably could do it now, actually, while we're doing this sort of pre edral bit. This is why I don't think that 200 energy thing is that big of a deal. Because combo points and the generation of combo points have never really been the biggest problem of the Feral Druid in terms of damaging sources. So that's why I'm pretty convinced that it's not that big of a deal. The 200 energy thing. I don't think it'll yield a huge DPS increase. Any class that has uh, energy base, like rogues and stuff, will tell you that having a lot of extra energy only counts for a very small portion of combat. Because as soon as you start using that energy up, it's very rarely ever refills to there. I mean, Tiger's Fury only gives you 60. And under the effects of things like Incarnation, it's not going to be that big of a deal anyway. So a Nightmare Blight. Okay. Let's uh, rake you. Let's pop Incarnation. Go to town on this son of a bitch. Oh, can you still turn around these? You can. If you're not sure, you can turn around this ability. Wow, Rake runs off really quickly with that ability. Like that. Oh, he hurts. Holy shit. Woo! Yeah, look at Rip wearing off so quickly. I might actually take the uh, Everlasting Rip ability. Yeah, my heal doesn't seem to be doing anywhere near enough. So what I do is, uh, let's uh, swift. Oh, swift bed was meaty. That was nice. Uh, let's go with, uh, yeah, this is running off really quick. Let's go with Saber Zoo. I'm kind of curious if this is like infinite rip. That would be nice. Uh, let's get these a thrash. I missed a thrash, didn't I? Rip on you. Rakes for everybody. Tiger's Fury rake. Wow, I do like this resetting Tiger's Fury for leveling. This is fucking cool, man. This is really cool. How will it work in long-term play, though? That's the big question, isn't it? If it works really well in long-term play, this could be fucking awesome. This might actually change my mind of Feral Druids completely. Uh, have you gone through already? Travel to the Dream Grove. Okay, cool. So we're going to travel through here, and then we're going to get to pick our wonderful choice of artifact weapon. Let's hope we have a good quest. Dream ones have been mixed. Very mixed. Although I will say, for those of you, uh, I'm not going to redo the video, uh, but my original Wrestle Druid video was kind of like, uh, <laughs> look at these guys, they're so fucking funny. Come, we must find the Druids. Yeah, we know where they are. Uh, the original Wrestle Druid video was really bought to like stupidly easy, it's like crazy easy, like you didn't even have to heal at all. And I was like, are they going to do it all this way? I recently had to remake my Wrestle Druid and they've turned that quest up like hugely. Uh, you have to do a lot of healing there now. Far more than you did before. Oh, this is still under construction. Okay. So we still have some construction here. I'm all, I'm waiting for this, if I'm being honest. I know we have to go over there, but uh, the troll, you guys know him. He's got some history. Uh, this becomes your house. This little tree becomes your house, and he comes to offer you a quest. I'm really hoping they do something with that, which I think they will. The Circle of Spirits. I just want him to be involved in some way. Greetings, Ark Druid Greathoof. We have traveled far to seek your aid. 
<laughs> he's so like animated ish noir some of the scenarios i too have heard of scre heard the screams of the land the legion threatens us all mm. yes it does then we must act swiftly and prepare for the weapons. Prepare the weapons of old for war. I can't read. It's 7 a.m. <laughs> oh, God. So glad to be back. I've missed it, man. I just couldn't sleep last night while I had to work. There is no one better suited for this task than Irtraz. That's me, right? Yeah, cool. Very well. Your task will not be easy, but, you sh but I shall do all that I can to aid you. Mm, cool. So let me pick. What are the ones we're going for? Dreamwalk. Yes. Select an artifact. So we are going for Ashamane, the Ancient Night Saber Spirit. The fangs of Ashamane. Ashamane, the Ancient Night Saber Spirit, who fought in the War of the Ancients, fell ages ago deep in the forests of Valsharar. A group of druids called the Ashen honor her memory and are the guardians of the shrine that houses her fangs. We will need to persuade them to allow their precious artifact to be used in combat, but the fangs would be a powerful weapon against the Legion. Cool fangs it is of course the weapons are kind of mun uh are kind of irrelevant to guardian of feral because it changes your form more than anything you don't actually see them the shrine of ashamed the mighty ancient ashamed fell in the battle against the burning legion ten thousand years ago to honor our sacrifice a group of devoted druids called the ashen forged ashamed's fangs into powerful daggers take my signet and present it to their leader delandros shimmermoon he will know what you he will know that you have my blessing. Our flight master, Denise Stargazer, can see a flight master? Interesting. We're not using the dreamway. That's interesting. I wonder if it's broken. There's the dreamway over there. Ah, okay. That's that's a change. I mean they've been very like, hey, we've made a fucking dreamway, bros. It's awesome. Do you want to use it? Now we're like, yeah, take a flight master. Fuck it. Fuck it. Dreamway shit. Takes you all across Azeroth in seconds, but flights flights the way forward. What's your story? Nice echo, bro. Keep your chin up, eh? Keep your chin up? <laughs> That's not something a druid would say. <laughs> Keep your chin up, lad. Mm. Well, we're straight here. I wonder if the dreamway's not working yet. I told you the shrine isn't safe. Look at what your stubbornness has caused. Now is not the time, Verstock. We have wounded to tend to. If the ward protecting the fangs falls, we have a lot more to worry about than a few cuts and bruises. I'll guard the fangs, even if you won't. Wow, okay, so it's getting, the, the shrine's getting screwed over. Rensar sent you. As much as I'd like to have help, whatever you need is going to have to wait. As you can see, we have bigger problems. Actually, we could really use your help. If you could lend us your aid, then I'll do all that I can to help you with whatever it is you're here for. Cool, all right. Doused, oh, dousing the flames. Do we get a little water cannon? The water, I hope we get to be a seal. The waters of Sylvan Lake are full of aquatic plants. We've learned that the seed pods of the Nikistia vine are full of water and are perfect for putting out a fire in an emergency. The Landros put several seed pots in your hand. There is a trick to making it work. You need to put the pod in your mouth and bite down. <laughs> because, because cats can't use fucking fire extinguishers, you dumbass. Duh. You have to bite it. <laughs> pop it okay the pod will fill your mouth full of water which you can use to spit out and drench the fire try it to get the fires and controls okay duh oh we got another quest okay aid for the ashen defeat for it okay turn your eyes above and you'll see that the cause of our misfortune ever since that ship appeared the attacks have been relentless many of the ashen have been captured and even now i can hear their screams of torture Please, go out there and rescue as many of my followers as you can. They do not deserve the fate that awaits them if left in the Legion's grip. So we should look up. Oh yeah, that's pretty badass, dude. Fuck. Fuck, man. Fuck it. Let's go. Okay. Uh, okay, yeah. The, the Kistia Seed, but we should have had to go farm them. Uh, okay, so there's a fire. So let's uh, kill ourselves some Impy Wimpies. Hi, guys. Rakes for everybody! Rah, rakes and rips. Uh, I should use that on swipe, I guess. Oh, I like having the... Uh, oh, that's cool. That's that. I have got that talent, haven't I? That's the, Yeah, mode of clarity on swipe. That's cool. That's cool. Oh, he doesn't do a funny animation with the fire. Bummer. Hey! Hey! Come here. Oh, he's cursing me. Oh, I got little wings? Cool. Was that in there? What? I have no idea. Yeah, you can see that um, 
Oh, I want to actually try whether my, my rip is like permanent, but I don't think I'm going to get it here because all these guys are helping me out. Give me that. I'd never seen those little wings before. I bet they're in WAD and everyone's like, you're a noob. I didn't play a lot of Feral in WAD. I didn't enjoy it. So that's my excuse. Uh, not here. That's that guy. He's defending the fangs. K. What's this curse? Maximum health reduced by 10%. Deals shadow damage after one minute. Oh, fuck it. He's going to bring me out of stealth. What a dick face. Can we jump down here? Yeah. <laughs> wings me. Oh, I didn't get little wings that time. Oh, the voice acting's in. Excellent. Well done, Bliss. Much better. Die, die. Rawr. Yeah, Rip is like almost fully reset. That's cool. So we could just have permanent Rip up, which simplifies the rotation a little bit, but I'm, I'm okay with that. A lot of people don't like maintaining bleeds. We've got a patrol over there. Are they going to come all the way down here? Ooh, bat. Are you going to aggro me? Nope. Go to prowl. Let's go kill this guy. No need to fight extra mobs if we don't have to, bros. I like the way the opener seems to line up perfectly well for a Tiger's Fury rip for that extra 50% damage. Interrupt that. Uh, my moment of clarity just got eaten. I didn't get three attacks then. That's weird. I should be getting it, I think. Never mind. Oh, Thrash doesn't give a combo point. Uh, energy cost. Energy cost on rip. No good. Don't like. Die. Yeah, it happened again. My clarity got eaten. But it did it before. That's weird. Let's keep an eye on that. We'll definitely have to keep an eye on it. It's possible. I wonder if uh, most of the end game talents aren't working. Yeah, look, it just happened again. I did not get three attacks with that. Okay, so we'll check that. Got an interrupted fool. Oh, yeah, look at that. Full on rip re uh, refresh. That's cool. Ugh. And here's the downtime. <laughs> look at that energy bar. You can see what I mean. If we had 200 energy, it wouldn't make a fucking difference. You, do you get what I mean now? It's, 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 that's not the limiting factor. Faster energy regen. Now there's a difference maker. Oh, oh. oh. Yeah, apparently. Now, oh, my monoclonal is working here. Oh, these hurt. Flurry. Let's get away from that. Rips for everybody. Keep ourselves here. Oh, wow. These really fucking hurt. Woo. Stun one of these. Oh, my God. You guys. Oh, okay. So, Shred's eating my... Uh, ah, okay. So, Mono Clarity is not working with Shred. Or oh, Omino Clarity, I should say. You guys are going to get... Annoyed at me for messing up the law. Bleed seems to do fuck all. Wow. Okay, hold on. LUA errors for days. Regoth. Bah, 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 bah. Let's just uh, roots you over there, shall we? Can I get behind that? No. Oh, Shred totally eats up your Omen of Clarity charges. Bummer. That's a bummer. Right, let's Tiger's Fury rip. Let's just stay away from that fucking flurry. That sucks. I really need to stop using Shred. Oh, I've got like years of like... I've got absolutely years of uh, finger memory <laughs> of pressing fucking Shred whenever I see Omen of Clarity. That's like so much muscle memory I'm trying to cancel right now. Uh, this is the last one anyway. Cool. Cool. Off we go. Back over there. Seal farm. Woohoo. Is it not the best day of your life when you get to turn into a seal as a druid? <laughs> Everyone else is like, well, I've got Path of Frost. Yeah, fuck you, buddy. I turned into a fucking seal, bro. Yos. Bleeds don't seem to do a hell of a lot of damage. I mean, it's possible just because I'm wearing shit gear or low mastery or whatever, but yeah, bleeds seems to do not a lot. It's entirely possible this damage just isn't tuned yet. We've always got a bad eye in mind. We're still in alpha. It could just be a case of the damage isn't quite there yet, but we'll see. It's not as if I'm using recount to track the damage. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Good. Fires out. The Shrine in Peril. 
You've helped us greatly, champion. Now it is time that you tell me what brings you here. You mentioned to the Landros that Arkdru and Greyhoof sent you to seek the fangs. Hmm. If you would have told me this at the outset, I would have told you to take a walk. The fangs are our greatest treasure. <laughs> I told you to fuck off. But you've done a great deed for the Ashen today, and I am an elf of my word. Very well. Let's clear out the rest of these demons, and you shall have your weapons. Assist the Landros by removing the last of the attackers. Oh, cutscene. Nice. Oh, no vice acting. Well done. Now we can begin our counterattack. Uh-oh. By the light! What happened to the shrine? Someone beamed down. Verstock, what is at the shrine? Ertras, go investigate and we'll find out what's going on there. I'll meet up with you as soon as we can. All right, cool. Oh, shit. Yeah, big bro. Your pathetic barriers mean nothing to the Legion. The blades are mine. <laughs> I'll never let Ashimay Fangs fail to your kind. <laughs> Take a good look, brute. You'll never see the Fangs again. Oh, he looks cool. It's the mortal. We will hunt you down and only delay the inevitable. Oh, did he nick the Fangs and fuck off? <laughs> Wreck, dude. Oh, we do have to kill this guy. Awesome. Brothers and sisters, the Shrine's under attack. By Fang and Claw, purge it of the Desecrator. Die, Algramon! Let's go full on uh, incarnation. Go! Ugh. Ooh, he hurts as well. Woo! Big ferocious bite. Yeah, look at that rip. Perma rip, boys. Hype. Throw our heal while we wait for some good energy. Mm, take it. Mm, mm, you let me now? Can I stun you? I can stun you. <laughs> Not for very long, though. Whoa. Wait for the energy for the rake. Big rake on. Boom. Uh. Uh. That heal seems to do very, very little. But well, she's fine, I guess. I mean, we're supposed to be melee. <laughs> so, she's survival instincts. Rake. Oh, no. Missed time my rake. Should have clipped it. Should have. Tiger's Fury, go. Tiger's Fury for a spike. I actually quite like my rip being on all the time. I know it really simplifies and dumbs it down and somebody will be like, God, no rip management? Lame. But ah, it's okay. <laughs> well done. Thank you. What the? The fangs are gone? What happened? That bro fucking stole them, bro. Yeah, he stole them. That fool is going to get himself killed. I know, right? I have to admit, Verstock was right. The shrine was too easy a target for the Burning Legion to attack. Still, he's gone. The, the fangs are with him. We're going to have to track him down for you to recover the fangs. I should come with you, but I have to stay with my people. i got to stay here, though, bro. Here, my companion Eben Fang has a sense of smell like no other. He'll be able to guide you to wherever Verstock is hiding. Also, take the shell. I don't need the bathroom, though. <laughs> through it, <laughs> through it, we can communicate. <laughs> we communicate through shells. <laughs> has it got a string on it? I have my shell. Cool. Uh, oh, I should have been a cat and a cat. That would have been better. Where to now? Valshara? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I wonder if Azuna's open. Oh, I have so much to do today. I'm so excited. Can you hear me through this thing? Ertras, bang your shell. You should be near Verstak's location. My foolish protege acted in haste to escape the shrine. He probably didn't even consider making his scent. Masking his scent. Shift into cat farm. You should still be able to detect it. Okay. Oh, this is spooky, bros. Look at this place. Ah, follow. Is that a scent? Ah, oh, stinker. Withered creepers. Mm. Oh, they look scary. Let's zoom back in and get a good look. Oh, here's one. No, no prowl though in combat. Die with a creeper. God, you've got so much fucking health, dude. Come on, give me a shred. <laughs> give me, let's wait for the rake. Clip it. Heal it. Ferocious bite it. Fucking hell, this guy's got a lot of health. And he's got that cubicle testicle. Oh, what's it? I, I, I don't really know what else I should spend my own clarity on them when that procs. Uh, what else can we get? We can get blood talents. Let's say blood talents. Okay. Verstock's scent leads into the ruins, but the door is sealed shut. Find a way to open it. Uh, uh. 
Oh, there's a glowing thing there. Click that. The ruined switch. Okay. Let's go to fill. There's loads of like fucking guys lying around on the floor here. Look at all these dudes. These are totally alive. What? The withered lay hunter. Heightened stealth. What? It's a sneaky fucking cube, bro. Look at this cube, bro. What do you want, cube, bro? He's attacking me. Ah, what a dick. Die, cube, bro, with too much health. Okay, so it's just missing a form. I assume it's supposed to be like one of those creeper guys. And frenzied. Look at this guy. What a jerk sniff. Blood Talons Rake. Oof. Let's get some Blood Talons Shreds up. Ugh. Wow, these hurt. Let's click. Clicky, clicky. Ooh. Oh. Whatever you did seems to have annoyed those withered. You might be able to use it to your advantage. See if you can find another switch. Ah, oh, there's one over there. Cool. Let's watch out for these cube bros. Sneaky little fuckers. Don't see any cube bros. Oh, there's one. I see it. Fuck you, cube bro. <laughs> Look at this fucking guy. Can I mark this guy? Ha <laughs> ha. Owned. <laughs> I need to get closer. That sound effect is so weird. This, this guy doesn't attack me, does he? Let's wait for Prowl. There's Q bros wandering around. Was that the last one? I think so. Yeah. Onward, upward, and downward. Follow Verstock's trail into the temple depths. Oh. Ah. I wonder if I can just stay stealth. I see you. You may look like a druid, but I can tell you're a demon in disguise. I won't fall for your trick. You'll never get the fangs. Has Verstock gone mad? Wielding the fangs he powers one's senses far beyond normal. I'm afraid it has also heightened his paranoia. Oh, no. Ertraz, you have to get the fangs away from Verstock. The longer they're in his possession, the more delusional he will become. No way! He's gone crazy with pa! Oh, ghosties. Night elf ghosties. They look cool, don't they? Oh. Uh, the platform. It's down there. What? Oh, I'm being a key cat. Look! I'm being a key cat. Yay! Oh, that's cool. Leave, demon. Be gone. Why won't you just go away? Go away! Leave me alone, demon. Man, this place is badass. I love the, the art team in fucking Legion. is so good, man. So, so good. You won't leave very well. I'll end this chase myself. Oh, I have to kill my own guy? But he looks so fucking cool. He's bigger than me. Lame, bro. Do we think this is the last guy? I'm always worried about popping cooldowns. Let's see how much damage he does. Um... I'd love one more combo point. Right, so let's get a Blood Town's Rake up. And actually give us a Blood Town's Ferocious Bite. Heal up. I have to use my heal. To, I'm going to have to use my heal to actually heal myself. Yeah, this guy's fucking blows, man. Look at this guy. What, what a dipshit. Mm, I could kill him without cooldowns. I don't know whether I sh Oh, fuck. Maybe not. Oh, my God. I'm going to die. And... Hold on a bit. Don't kill me. Thank you. Dude, you really hurt, bro. Like, stop it. <laughs> ah, regrowth sucks. <laughs> Alright. Game on! Game on! Fuck, another survival like six. This guy really has pops. I'm going to have to pop some cooldowns, man. Stunned? What? No, I'll never swim. Oh, man. I just fucking popped incarnation. Stupid me. Verstock has fled into the series of caves beneath the ruins. Find him. Oh man, I just popped fucking incarnation. God damn it. <sighs> Fuck my life. This is why I should always be weird. And it's not even the end. So we're going to have to fight something else now. God damn it, Blizz. Troll me so hard. Down there? Where did he go? 
Map's not working. Uh, down into the ruins. Can we down here? Nope. That's a seal farm temptation. Ah, okay. <sighs> I should never pop my cooldowns. <laughs> what is this? Release me. Oh, spiders. Oh, shit. Sp web Mistress Shinaris. Look what fell into my web. But tonight I shall feast. What an Azeroth was that? Be careful, Eritras. Holy shit. We're coming to like an underground. Oh, as you fucking the root, bros. Oh, talk about turning the creepiness up. They've really nailed it. I can't wait for the music to be in here. A Faldori. A Faldori Reaver. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Oh, okay. Watch out for the eggs. I think we can skip most of this, though. Oh, this is generally quite creepy. Some people hate spiders. Oh, look at the spider's web. <laughs> Stick around. <laughs> Stick around. It's almost meal time. What's this? Another. She knows she's going to have one of the creepy spidery voices as well. I wonder if I shoot her in the head, does she get stunned? Web Bistress Shinaris. She's cool as well. Ah, oh, the new models. If you find verse. Uh, you found verse. Caught in the web of horrific creatures, slay it. I have no incarnation. Two minutes, bro. Really? If you're really hard, this is gonna suck. Come on, give me a clear casting. Give it me clear casting across the universe. Right, let's get a blood talons up. Blood talons rake. Blood talons ferocious bite. Woo! Should have probably delayed that for a bit more energy. Oh my, wait for the energy. Aha, clear casting. I'm gonna use it on rake. Ha ha! Oh no, I don't have that ability anymore. Never mind. <laughs> oh well, this uh, this chick's not hard. This chick just no damage. Okay, so one thing we can certainly say is the uh, damage tuning is not quite done yet for this place. Get the blood talons up. That's a bit early, but Prezi Swiftness is going to run out. I got a crit anyway, though, so not all bad. Oh, I need a fresh spike. My rip's about to run out. Boo. Ooh, big crit. Nice. Come on, down you go, web mistress. You, like, do no damage. This is really funny. The fangs of Ashuate are yours. Take them. Freedom! Oh, cool. My brush with death cleared my head. Everything I saw was a threat. I'm sorry I struck out at you. Yeah, you're pretty badass, though. I just wanted to protect the fangs, but they're too much for me to handle. You've shown yourself to be a far more capable guardian than I. Please take them. Will do. And there they are, team. That was a cool artifact quest. Very cool. The Fangs of Ashamane. Oh, what is my Druid model, though? Ride upon Evil Fang and return to the Dream Grove. Yeah. Wait. Well, that's not half bad, that. Let's get into the light. So you guys can actually see it properly. There we go. Man, those armored... Uh, the armored arms are so good. Alright, let's get our artifact ability. Thank you, thank you. Plant the seed. Yep, let's go do that. And then we can take a look at all... The oh, we can look at all the Feral Druid farms. Nice. Do -do -do. That was actually not bad. I will think... Uh, it still doesn't appeal to me because when we are in, like, constant combat... Let's see if there's any way I could think of that, actually, before we do this. I'm just going to tease you a second. Could I speed up actual combat in terms of when we're doing long-term DPS? Predator would be a no. That might be a yes because we'll get more combo points, maybe? Lunar Inspiration would probably be a no. What's Rake's cost? 35, and it's slightly cheaper... But only by five, not a big deal. These wouldn't do anything, these wouldn't do anything, these wouldn't do anything. Uh, Soul of the Forest, maybe. Incarnations are cool, though. Savage Roar, not really. It doesn't speed anything up. Uh, Sabertooth, Jagged Wounds. J Jagged Wounds would, for sure. But, it, but basically, Jagged Wounds seems to be just trading off um, using Ferocious Bites from the Sabertooth into just more rips. That seems to be the trade there, so I wouldn't think it'd do much. But I'll have to test that, obviously. Alludes Guidance immediately gained five combo points. That would uh, be nice. A 45 second cooldown lines up a little nicely every now and again with Tiger's Fury. So Alludes Guidance could be better. Uh, Bloody Slash, not really. Bloody Talons, not really. Moment of Clarity. Well, that's fixed. I mean, I assume you're supposed to be able to use three shreds there. That would be much nicer. So, yeah, potentially. Plant the sea. Oh, this is all finished now. This wasn't all here before. That's cool. Good. The seed holds a magic. Uh, okay. Yep. Let's get our ability. 
Imbue your weapon with power and assign an artifact. Cool. What do we get? Whoa. That's awesome. That's really cool. Oh, is this our feral farm? Okay. Uh, oh, this has changed. Oh, we assign an artifact point now instead of picking our first ability. Oh, that's that's strange. You think they want to make a big deal out of this? Ashermaid's friend. So this is our actual new ability then, but you don't get to you don't spec it this time. So what do we spec? Shredder fangs increase the damage of shred. <laughs> that's slightly less of less. Can we go back to specking this? That's far more interesting. Unleash Ashermaid's Frenzy on your target, causing your claws to swipe the target 15 times over 3 seconds, causing uh, dam causing damage plus an additional 103,000 bleed damage over 6 seconds. Wow. Awards 3 combo points. That certainly speeds it up. 1.25 minute cooldown. Okay. There is some real fun to be had here, I think. Some real fun to be had. I want to test that out. Where is that ability? It's not my bar. Yeah, it doesn't even put the ability on your bars. I can drag it out. I can put it there. Cool. Uh, so, sh Shredder Fangs. Okay. Yeah, let's go back to this, Blizz. That was way better. It was specking this one and then getting all this stuff. Uh, so, what do we get then? Rake damage. Rip damage. Swipe damage. Your bleed damage will no longer cause roots to break. Wow. I wonder what the PvP is thinking of that. Uh, Tiger's Fury generates additional 5 energy every second for 3 seconds. Okay. Berserk also increases damage. What? I don't have Berserk. Have I been a complete twat? No, I don't have Berserk. What the fuck? Maybe we're getting Berserk back. Oh, maybe that's just a relic. Uh, Honda 6 increases the damage. Uh, duration of survival instincts. Okay. Okay. Thrash has a chance to release part of Ashmade's soul, causing all limits of the ARs to take shadow damage. Okay. Open wounds. When you rip a target, the fangs of Ashmay tear the wound open, causing it to take an extra 100% damage from bleed effects for 5 seconds. Okay. More passive stuff, which is we've come to expect that now. I'm not surprised or anything. I would like more interesting stuff that we can make a choice of, but we don't get that. Uh, when you leave cat farm, you have 100% increased dodge chance and armor for 5 seconds. So it's not 100% dodge, it's 100% increased chance. Uh, increase the crit chance of shred. So more combo points to speed the spec up again. Okay. Increase the healing. Increase the crit chance. Sh crit chance of ferocious bite. Each target, target hit by your thrash reduces the energy cost of swipe. So we got some nice AOE. So they've sped up the spec. Okay, so this is going to start pretty weak sauce, but it's going to speed up a lot, as we, especially when you get towards the end here. Late, this is going to be late game, by the way. Uh, for what I can tell, you're not going to be reaching here until like late Legion. It's going to be like gated. But we'll see. Uh, and our last ability is Ashmane's Bite. When you ferocious bite a target, the spirit of Ashmane has a chance to copy a shadow version of Rip on your target. What's curious here is a lot of links to Rip and... When you rip a target... So, if I take... What's curious about this? Let's let's uh, take this for account, then. Ashmane's Bite promotes Ferocious Bite, right? So, that promotes Sabertooth while we're doing a lot more Ferocious Bites. But what if we had Open Wounds? Because we won't be doing Rip again. So will that not occur? So if you can't, would you be a noob in a way to be like specking up this way because you're cancelling each other out? I mean, this t this uh, ability clearly promotes Sabertooth. And that's an AoE ability. So I want to see how this is going to work out, actually. Will using Sabertooth, which extend, I mean, it doesn't refresh rip, it extends it. I want to. I wonder if they'll just link it so that when you use Ferocious Bite, that'll work anyway. Anyway, uh, by the by, let's look at the appearance of the cats. This is all stuff to be worked out later. So, can we get a good view here? That's pretty good. So, the Fangs of Ashmane. Okay, recover four pillars of creation gets us the shadowy version. Reach exalted with one of the factions of Rogue Canals gets us the sort of lunar version. Which is okay. And the kind of boring version is unknown. So, we don't know how we get that one. Nature's Fury. Complete the dollar sign C class hall campaign. Gets us... That's awesome! Yeah, I like that. I'm made of wood. I'm literally made of wood. I'm like I'm like a puppet. I'm Pinocchio. That's even cooler. Oh, it's the same one. Never mind. I'm just being an idiot. Oh, these are all the same. Oh, they haven't put them in yet. Okay. Oh. Oh, wow. For the ladies. Complete the quest Ancient Power. Defeat Gul'dan. Gets us this one. That's very standout. I like that. Complete a challenge mode dungeon using a level 15 keystone. 
gets us this version. Now, I wonder if people... Yeah, absolutely. What you're going to see here is people using these, even though they might not like it, just to signify that they have it. Uh, what's this one? Doesn't know. I like that one, actually. That's going to be the hardest one to get, obviously. Incarnation of Nightmare. Reach prestige level 1 and complete the quest of Victor's Spoil. So, oh, so these are the PvP ones. And that's badass. Look at that fucking shoulder armor. Prestige level 4 gets you that. Uh, oh, wow. I'm going to have to PvP on my Feral Druid. I don't like that one. That's prestige level 12. I'm not a fan of that one. I like that one. Interesting. Very interesting. So, well, a lot of choice, though, though, uh, for anybody subjective on which one they prefer. Greetings. Uh, okay, so, yeah, this is all going to be the bullshit about becoming the Archdruid and all that kind of nonsense. Uh, so what we actually want to do is... I'm going to have to finish this, but I'll come back and finish it. Let's just go test out what this new ability looks like. I'll come back and finish this later for what I want to do my Feral Druid testing. They might have even put training dummies in here yet, but I'm not browsing this area. <laughs> this Dream Grove is huge. Absolutely huge. So let's pop over to the Shrine of the Two Moons and see what's going on. Oh, I just realized I never used Berserking, did I? You guys are going to be so mad at me. I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's my first day back. Come on, I haven't touched the game in two weeks. Right, so now we're going to test out Ashermane's Frenzy. So let's zoom right in on this motherfucker. Let's turn off the UI. Let's see what this looks like. Get a nice... Uh, Oh, that was it. Oh, yeah, okay. So we did get, like, the Zuan cloak effect. 15. What's that? God, that is a lot of damage. I, that's got to pair up with things like Tiger's Fury and stuff, right? And Blood Talons? <sighs> I bet that fucking hurts, man. Oh, yeah. You know that fucking hurts. You know that hurts. When you pair up with the Tiger's Fury, that's, like, another 15%. Blood Talons is, what, 30 That's pretty crazy when we pair them up. Uh, so we get the Zuid Cloak effect. So obviously, if you play Mr. Pandari, you'll know all about that. Uh, very cool. That quest was ace. Loving the new cat farm. Absolutely loving it. And I am actually looking forward to testing this out. I might have to get some artifact power, which will take me a while. Ladies and gentlemen, the Feral Druid. Thank you so much for listening. I'll see you again. Bye-bye.